So in this video we're going to be going over the AQA additional physics topic of kinetic energy. So all moving objects have kinetic energy. That is the defining part of this type of energy. And it is affected by two things. The first is mass. So an object with a higher mass has more kinetic energy. And this makes sense if you think about it in terms of a car driving towards you with at a speed of 10 miles per hour or a person running towards you at a speed of 10 miles per hour. You'd be more scared of the car because it's driving towards you with a much higher amount of energy which could cause you a lot more damage and this is because the car has more mass. But it's also and more importantly affected by the speed and this also makes a lot of sense. Moving objects if they have something to do with kinetic energy, obviously a faster moving object is going to be storing more energy than the same object moving at a slower rate. Which is why we get this equation here. Kinetic energy measured in joules equals a half the mass, which is why I said the mass is less important in kilograms, times by the speed squared, which again emphasizes how important the speed is. And that is in meters per second. And this is summarized as here. So the kinetic energy is represented as EK, which equals a half times mass, which is measured, which is represented by a lowercase m, times speed, which is represented by a lowercase v squared. And the reason we say speed instead of velocity is because it doesn't matter what direction the object is moving, just as long as it is moving. This moves us on to our question. So a typical question about kinetic energy would be, what is the kinetic energy of a 2,000 kilogram lorry traveling at 10 meters per second? So it's good to quickly check that the units are correct. So we need to be giving our answer in joules. The mass should be in kilograms, and it is. And the speed should be in meters per second and it is. So we just need to use this equation here. So I'm going to quickly transfer it so we can remember what it is. So our kinetic energy equals a half times mass times speed squared. So firstly we need to work out what a half of our mass is. So that's 2000 divided by 2 which equals 1000. So that's our half times mass. And then we need to find out what our speed squared is. So 10 squared equals 10 times 10, which is 100. So essentially, EK equals 1,000 times by 100. So our answer is 100,000 joules. Next, we're going to talk about transferring kinetic energy using the example of a pendulum. So you can see here, our pendulum is swinging from a high point, the highest point here, to a middle point, and then back up to another high point, and then going back the same way. And essentially, when the bob is at the highest point, we need to think about gravitational potential energy, which we talked about in the previous video. So gravitational potential energy is the highest here because it is the furthest point from the surface of the Earth. And as we said, when we're working out gravitational potential energy, the height factors into the equation. And so when the height is higher, there is more gravitational potential energy. Then, as the bob swings down, this GPE is transferred into kinetic energy because <laughs> The bob was stationary here for a moment, and now it is moving in a downwards direction. So it has, and when it is at the bottom, it has the maximum amount of kinetic energy, because as it moves, it accelerates, and this is the point in which it has peaked its acceleration. Then, when the bob swings back up, it is transferred into gravitational potential energy again, because it's going further away from the surface of the Earth and the height is increasing, which increases the gravitational potential energy. But why doesn't this go on forever? Well, the answer is each time the bob swings, 
some energy is lost as heat. And so in each of the swings, some of the energy is transferred to the environment as heat. And as the cycle is repeated, all of the energy will eventually be lost and the bob will no longer swing. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you.